Hello everyone, my name is Fazal. You are watching MFA Civil Engineering. Plastering is a covering with the material of a various composition applied either externally or internally to the wall, partition of the lath and the ceiling to cover the rough wall by a lime, cement or the mud mortar. When the cement is used as the binding material in making the mortar for the plastering purpose, then it is called as a cement plaster. Cement plaster is a mixture of a Portland cement sand that is a fine aggregate and water in appropriate proportion which is normally applied to the masonry interior and the exterior wall so as to obtain a smooth surface cement plaster is usually applied on in one coat the thickness of a coat can be 12 mm or 15 mm or 20 mm depend on the type of the building to be plastered and also the site condition it consists of a usual proportion of a cement and the sand as a 1 is to 4 that is a 1 part of a cement and 4th part of a sand. And also the higher proportion can also be used depend on the nature. When the thickness of a plaster is more than 15 mm or when finer finish is required then cement plaster is required to apply in 2 coat. For 1 coat plaster, cement plaster is applied on a prepared surface with the mason trowel after application of a cement plaster, surface is level with the help of the wooden float and straight edge. Then the surface is finally polished with trowel. For two coats plaster, the first coat also called as the rough coat is initially applied on the surface of the wall in a layer of 8 mm to 10 mm in thickness. Then the surface of the plaster is scratched with the help of the trowel so as to have the key to hold the next coat of a plaster. Then surface of the first coat allowed to set but it should not be dry. Then this coat is roughed by means of the second scratching tool so as to have the key for the second coat or the finished coat. Then finishing coat is applied over the rough and damp surface of the first coat within a 48 hour. Then the coat is properly travel and finish is smooth by a wooden float. Finally plastered is cured at least for the 7 days. For external and the internal plastering of a building, the proportion of a cement mortar is varies. The application of a cement plaster involves the various steps like preparation of a surface for the plastering, ground work for the plastering and application of a plaster coat. An important feature in the production of a good plaster work is the proper and the careful preparation of the surface. The durability of a plaster depends on the greater extent upon its adhesion with their background. All the projections which extend by more than 13 mm from the general surface of the wall face are knocked off to obtain a uniform surface and to reduce the consumption of a plaster. All the joints wrecked in a machinery are removed out for a depth of at least 13 mm. In case of a brick wall, the surface are brushed and well melted with the clean water to reduce the absorption of a water to a such extent that this will not absorb the water from the plaster which is necessary for its proper setting. Care is taken that all the surface and the joints are free from the oil, gases and the soot. If the holes are present on the surface of the wall then it is properly filled in advance. In groundwork for the plaster. In order to obtain a straight surface and uniform thickness of the plaster, vertical strips called as skid or the bands are formed on the wall surface by fixing a dots. These dots are first applied horizontally and vertically at a distance of 2 meter covering the entire wall surface. These dots are fixed by laying a small quantity of a plaster on the surface in the form of the square of 15 cm by 15 cm side having a depth of about 10 mm. The verticality of a dot one over the other is checked by means of the plumb bob. After fixing the dots, the vertical strips of the plaster called as a skid are formed between the dot. These skids serve as the gauge for the maintaining a uniform thickness of the plaster. The application of a plaster coat depends on the thickness of the plaster which is to be applied on the surface of the wall. It may be a single coat, double coat and then narrow finishing. For single coat plaster, the average thickness of the first coat of a plaster called as the rough course is generally a 12 mm on brick or the ashlar machinery and 20 mm on the rubble machinery. The first coat of a plaster is generally applied 
by dashing against the wall surface it is then sprinkled frequently with a sufficient quantity of water and is smooth well by means of the float for double coat plaster which is also called as the floating course is to be applied on the surface the surface of the first coat of a plaster is exposed to the air to set and the harden for almost 2 days but not to dry and after this period the surface of the first coat is sprinkled with the water and freely scoured all over the edge of the trowel the second coat is spread uniformly with the trowel it is pressed and nobbed with the wooden edge to obtain a desired surface it is finally finished by sprinkle water over the plaster surface and rubbing it with the float the thickness of the second coat is usually 6 to 10 mm for narrow finish this coat is applied after a 5 days after the second coat of a plaster is applied this coat consists of a flat line and the fine white sand in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is laid in the thickness of the 3 mm with the straight plane and is smooth with the straight edge the surface is well rubbed with the wooden float and then finally finished with the trowel to obtain a desired surface a soap stone or polishing stone is very often used to obtain a fine polished surface sometime a small quantity of a mica powder is added to the mixture of the final coat the particle of which shine in a strong light